Yo. Exactly, yo. Yo. <laughs> yo. Not unless they they like to. See. Yeah, it's not the only reason why you would. Yeah, like. Yeah, there's. Yeah. Like I understand. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I understand. Yeah. The the bad part is he just kept knocking at me. I told him it would be fine if he was just like, you know what, I don't want to talk about this. That would have just said, but then he started the conversation about me. Like, I'm like, great, that's, that's great. It's okay, Annie. It's Thank you for listening. Just uh, that really. Yeah. Like. I, just, um, um, I sent you the link, by the way. Um, yeah, like it's. He's gonna find a reason to do this, and I should know better. Like he's gonna find a new reason to knock at me. So, um, and he did. Like he was just like, "Oh, I understand. You have your girlfriend. You love the Padres." I'm like, "I don't love the Padres. I respect the Padres." And he kind of just chuckled. <laughs> and I was like, "All right, this shouldn't continue to waste my breath with him." I sent you. Thank you, Annie. I, s I sent you. I hope. Uh, well, just let me know if everything looks like it should. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I was just waiting. Um, okay. Is this only microphone? Okay. I. I was waiting for you, but now I'm putting it on. Um, but yeah, um, how are the Padres doing? From I'm not sure if you got to see any of it. That's good. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, jeez. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a great achievement. It's a very rare achievement. I don't think any pitcher would pretty much faint over 
getting such an achievement. Nothing against them. If you faint, it's like I would, yeah. But um, that's that's good to hear. Um, I hope by some miracle he managed to finish. But if he desired to, or he was in the condition to do so, I wouldn't want to want him to get himself hurt either. Yeah, tricky. Yeah. I see, yeah, I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. thing you guys need. I'm sorry. Really? Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. just saw some warning came up on or displayed on the screen saying that the connection is not sufficient like it's I guess I'm not sure if it's some internet problems but as long as you can see me though can you see the gameplay okay just making sure yeah but you were saying Troublesome. Like that's, you know, that's that's a great idea. Let's just add more stress to our team. How? Yeah. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. That's yeah. That's no. It's fun, but not when it involves the same pros actually being involved in it. It's like it's, that is worrisome. Anyway, uh, we got the no 
Moonlight Book for the Moonlight Sonata, and I have the musical score. Now I have, I think it's the complete people, but yeah. I like that creepy song. Oh, did they? I, I didn't know that. I must have been very young. <laughs> yeah, they've used it in references to Resident Evil games too. That's why they haven't included in this one. I know they used it in the DLC trailer for the for the game as well. They use Moonlight Sonata. And no, uh, no recomposition, no covers, just the classic, classic song. So, as you can see, there's a grand piano right here. And I leave this there. And then Chris makes his poor attempt of playing that song. me, Chris. You okay? Yes, I'm okay. Can't grieve forever. This is the Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? I know. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> Well, at least this game doesn't try too hard to make the puzzles complicated for me. <laughs> oh, what was that? Yeah. My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice no. for a while. Sure. Because so, apparently. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. I guess... Maybe? Like, I'm not sure I'll entertain the idea of... Maybe there was a potential... Like... Row we were supposed to play the, the music? Like, maybe not, not all of it? Like, that's what I was thinking, because... At the end, when we played... Yeah, like, at the end when we played it... The actual correct song it was only a few notes like I was like what the fuck wait a minute yeah so that was very fun <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out where else do I need to use this uh, this key the armor key. Um, As a matter of fact, I'm not sure if I need it there. I think I do. The second floor on the top right, you see these two doors in red. I think I need to use it there. Okay, I'm gonna head over there. Um, yeah, I, uh, I cleaned that nice rock I found in the cemetery then just creepily hit me, I'm like, I hope it's not haunted <laughs> I understand, I just kind of I obliviously forgot about that I was just like, uh, wait a minute <laughs> I'm like, am I going to have to go to Julie in the middle of the night trying to offer it back? Like, <laughs> yeah, if I did that, I'll, I would invite you. <laughs> well, I'm assuring you that I would. <laughs> yeah, I'd be out of my mind if I go, and especially alone. <laughs> Jeez. Like, 
<laughs> oh, these zombies. These, uh, oh no, that one's chasing me. Stay away from me. Haha. -ha. They must be tough, but they do not. Their weakness is door numbers. Okay. <laughs> Find a door, this, yeah, and walk through and close it. You're good. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, the <laughs> Yeah, the entry completely wide open. Oh that'd be horrible. Oh the first aid kit. Awesome. My chances of dying have lowered. Nothing in the drawers or in the shelves. An old key. Damn, I'm running out of room already. Yeah, I'll quickly find. Oh no. I could have carried that with me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I've realized about this game. They actually don't add any any extra squares or spaces. So, yeah, this is what you have to work with. So if uh, Charles was angry because he couldn't make it work, it's he had every reason to. Okay, at least I used the old key. Yay! It worked. Yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they should have kind of like, s yeah. They should have, uh, what would be the word for it? Subcategorized? Like, okay, these fall on weapons, these fall on miscellaneous, these are just, you know, small items. These are keys, like you said, that, that would make perfect sense. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's uh, every level of difficult. Mm. All I have to say to the creators is thank you, thank you for thank you for thinking that through. Exactly, but um, okay, so that this note that I found is the researcher's will. There is a letter. June 3rd, 1998. My dearest Alma, let me first apologize for not being able to call you. A man wearing these sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. Sorry, Alma. I sit here trying to think of where to begin, of how to explain in a few simple words all that's happened in my life since we last spoke and already I failed. I hope this letter finds you well and that you'll forgive the tangents of my, of my pen. This isn't easy for me. Even as I write, I can feel the simplest of concepts slipping away, lost to feelings of despair and confusion. But I have to tell you what's in my heart before I can rest. Mama, um, please believe that what I'm telling you is the truth. The entire story would take hours for me to tell you, and time is short. So accept these things as fact, 
Last month there was an accident in the lab and the virus we were studying leaked. All my colleagues who were infected are dead or dying and the nature of the disease is such that those still living have lost their senses. This virus robs its victims of their humanity, forcing them into their sickness to seek out and destroy life. Even as I write these words, I can hear them pressing against my door like mindless, hungry animals. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected and there is no cure for what I will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand, please know that I am sorry. Martin Clarkhorn. Crackhorn, sorry. That's really sad. Pretty detailed story, or at least a detailed goodbye. Okay, I'll definitely need more room. Oh, that's gross. Anyway, sort of fishing verse. Because that's what I would do if I was this. I would pick up those uh, those insects. I would never. <laughs> I know you would though. <laughs> yeah, I know you wanted. Let's see. Oh, I took down that zombie effortlessly. Now I need to make room. The good thing is this storage unit is right here. I just saw all that stuff on the floor. Oh, I'm just gonna pick that up. Who left? Is he? No, I can't. I can't hear it. That's cute though. back sir or ma'am or something um uh, mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> hope i'm not getting it wrong <laughs> hope I'm <in> trouble <laughs> anyway um okay back in here This one first. And then I'm gonna grab the hook. A collection of insect specimens. There's a switch underneath. Press it. Sure. Yeah. It's maybe it has something to do with the insect specimens. types of fish hooks. And then I'm gonna combine these two, because that's what it is. It's a hook in the form of a bee. They're shaped like a bee with a hook attached. Have you seen that before? Those kinds of uh, baits? Yeah. Didn't know they had them in the shape of insects like that. Mm. 
Yeah. 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 Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I understand. That m makes sense. It's just I never actually, like, personally seen one. Like, it's usually the other kind, like, worms. Or weird, fussy looking, looking ones. Giant hornet. It's gross. Gross. I'm out of there. <laughs> it's almost like twice its size. <laughs> I would be terrified. Okay, this one is Windcrest. <laughs> He found a new species of hornet that should not exist. <laughs> huh, I don't know where this goes. Anyway, I think I have everything here. Uh, from what it shows, yeah. And I'm supposed to be exploring. As a matter of fact, I could explore. No. I think it's broken, that knob. Yeah, the... The, um, Julian Pies was great. Let's have some more after I finish. And, uh... Amazingly, Max Muncy has gotten two homers tonight. So he's again the leader uh, in homers, second to Pete Alonso. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's like Max Muncy, whenever he starts getting homers, he usually gets multiple homers. <laughs> Oh no, no zombie, stay away. Cause he got, yeah, he got two tonight. I'm not sure if he got a third, but I guess I'll see. I don't think there's anything for me to grab here, no. And I cannot open that door. Uh, but... Or I think you can open that other one, but I'll have to go here again. Uh, who was pitching for the for the Padres today? I said it was okay. Waka, yeah, the the funny the funny name Waka. Where does the, that last name origin from, originate from? Waka. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. to hear like a consistent picture that's really hard to come by like um, I didn't know Gonsolin went against you guys at their game and he like he came yeah he, he came back in shape like I was surprised meaning pretty Pretty great throws of his. struggling like at the end right before he got injured but after that he's been he's been doing very well so I'm not sure I'm not sure prior to his injury maybe that's what it was complicating his throws Yeah, especially if it's like an injury you never had, like it's, oh, you never fucked up your shoulder before, like you wouldn't probably have complications, you know, connecting those, yeah. yeah that's understandable. And yeah, because they all have the good intention of, well, if we want to continue playing, you know, like it's, don't want to uh, let the team down, like it's, I can respect that. It's good to hear that uh, the Dodgers at least have the lead. Um, let's hope the Dodgers beat the shit out of the uh, Twins just because, you know, uh, Pete Alonso. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna see someone else smashing windows through. So it's not safe for me to go back there. like you bastard but I blew his head off so everything's okay <laughs> yeah you can do that with shotguns you can blow zombies heads off you just have to make sure you're aiming the the barrel upward and they have to get close enough and look your current friends being <laughs> okay, well there's a painting or more like a it looks like it's a glass picture. Kinda like a yeah. Um, yeah, it's almost like religious looking. Lisa protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace and a crown. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. Press it. I pressed it. Oh no. The crows are angry at me? Yes, yes they are. Yes they are. Oh no, they don't like me now. I'm out of here. Um. <laughs> They seem to love my flesh. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, can I picture of her wearing a bracelet? Okay. No stained glass, there's a switch here. Oh, that's probably why they got triggered. I'm, I wasn't supposed to press that one yet. Or because I pressed it and it wasn't done correctly, they went on the attack. Turned orange, okay. That's that one should be that. This one a picture of a sage wearing a necklace. I think that one's supposed to be purple. Sage turn deep red. No, we don't want that. This one's supposed to be green, I think. A crown. No, I need this one to turn green. Maybe because the other one's on. Let me see. Let me see if I can switch this. This one's pretty much just trial and error. There you go, that's what I need it to be. Crimson. It's pure white. Yep, it's not correct. Need it to be purple. And let's turn purple. There we go. This the one in green says has the crown. And I think yeah, everything's set. And there's a switch. And the crows now shouldn't attack me. There we go. What did I find? Oh no, a creepy mask. And I can't carry it. Damn it! Okay, I'm just gonna combine these and I'm gonna use them. And there you go. I have plenty of space and my character is not half dying. It's locked. It's an old fashioned lock. That's oh my god, okay. I need to. Old fashioned lock. So I get to. I think I need to use those small keys. The good thing is I can still go through that other door. I don't need to go through that double door full of zombies. I can go through here. There we go. 
you're enjoying exploring the world of Resident Evil so far. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's <laughs> pretty Pretty much every second is just spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Welcome to my sp spoiler filled stream. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> How? Uh, he asked, but I told him I wanted to play with and uh, I was gonna stream with him. Oh crap, that was loud. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I told him uh, if it was okay to play on Thursday. He said it's cool. Day off? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the reality. Like, I don't know when he does have opportunities or when he feels like giving opportunities. So, I, I honestly wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, for that reason, like, I know days off for him is Tuesday and Thursday. So maybe I should have said Wednesday, but uh, we'll see. Wait a minute, is the keys not working? Oh, it's locked from the other side. Well, well, well. That's very, very unfortunate for me. Does that mean I'll have to go with that room full of zombies? Cause that would be terrible. Uh, man, that's terrible. Let's see. Cause that was the first floor. This is the second floor. Uh, that's the only way I can go through there. Go, no. It said old fashioned key, didn't it? Yeah. Damn. No, I think I'll need to go back there again. And there's. Can I go? Oh, as a matter of fact, I hope. I hope I haven't used that yet. If I did, then I can't go back. Or if I do, I'm gonna have to waste a lot of ammo. Hey zombie. Ah, you missed me this time. Sucker! Now you're gonna have to So what did you have for dinner? Sounds really good. Do you enjoy it? I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, she made uh, gorditas. Yeah, they were they were good. I was more than anything looking forward to eating more pie. <laughs> I was like, thanks, mom. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. And there you go. <laughs> that door plan worked. I'm really glad. Yay, old key. I don't need to stumble upon all those zombies and I can just go back and forth from here. This works out perfectly. Anyway, I have another creepy mask. Let's go and find out how far into completing this I am. I still need three more masks. Yeah. Since these 
the statue with the hole where the bus should be. Found it. Stone hanging in the ceiling, spewing out blood. Mm -hmm. I keep those in my room. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm just gonna try to figure out where else can I go with this, because I haven't tossed it yet. They still have the armor key. By looking at he on here, I'm just trying to see because I don't have that yet. Uh, second floor. I know I cannot go on to that room on the left. Not neither of those two. I can't go. Oh, as a matter of fact, I need to go check on what's her name if she's done practicing. I forget. And I think I'll need an item once I'm there with her. So uh, I should go get that. Okay, I'll go get that. I think I need the shield. As a matter of fact, I can go over here. I think it's Rebecca. the song spot on now this time. Oh look, you can hear from here. I'll stand here for a bit so you can hear it. I'm not sure if she's done practicing though. Maybe she still needs a little more time. And then she tells me, Chris, I got it. Chris! Chris! Oh, okay. yes, I think I got it! This makes perfect. What's this? Huh. Remember that Winchester house? Or I think you said it was, was it like a mansion? I'm starting to think they probably drew inspiration from that because this mansion in particular is also really creepy. Anyway. Hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Through they can't grab this because it's gonna lock me in here. So I'll need to put it back and then grab the wooden shield so I can rip them in its place. So I was right. Okay, just need to go and get to another storage unit so I can I should have left it on the wall. I fucked up. I still need to I need to go through more doors. Oh no, that's a crimson zombie right there. Got him back. No, 
that's the weird part. They didn't really include, not that I've thought about it, they didn't include female zombies. Yeah, because in Resident Evil 2, the original, they had female zombies. Didn't cross my mind until now. I wonder why. Yeah, I understand. I mean, I, uh, not that they have to have it. I just appreciate those details. But, um, let's see. Trevor's Diary. Number 24th, 1967. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a, uh, mirror plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they're all... They are all all, all right, sorry. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. November 26, 1967. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm as I'm writing my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coats said something like, Most likely your family is already I pray for their safety. November 27th, 1967. Somehow I managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. Now to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem, I have to try and remember for my own sake. That's the end of that. Are you all right in there? Yeah. I was afraid to check up on me, but... Shield where the other one lied. Each other through the path to your 
Destiny will open. It looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. Try it. Turn which gear? Small or large? Small. Left. Keep turning. Yes. Small. Left. Nothing happens. Maybe it's got something to do with the helmet shield armor. memory of <laughs> yeah cuz even this one like for some reason I knew it had to go this way how do I so remember I really don't know why I was trying to find other doors that that needed the armor key. I stumbled upon it accidentally. I think it's that one I just saw. It's like in the middle right side of the map. It's on the second floor. this one. It's a boss key. I remember now. Okay, so I'm gonna go and be a brave maniac and I'm gonna face off against the boss. I guess you'll get to meet this boss for the first time. You saw the dead body of the poor guy didn't save in time. Now you'll know what he faced up against. I don't need this key, I'm discarding it and I'm going in. Ah. Behold.
everything before anything else happens. Oh, more ammo. Guess what I need, Ash. Anything else? No. Now we can go get Chris out of here. And what's going on now? A little cutscene. Oh. Oh. Poison? Need serum. Well, as you can see, the same serum that I felt to give to the other guy, now I need to give it to Chris. so bad, but that's so great. Oh, oh no. they're gonna kill me. Just that's what I get for not killing him. Let's see. Dear life. If I find that other zombie, I'm gonna have to kill him. Yep. Okay, I need to go through this door. This one over here. Oh no, that's another crimson head. Like screw the <laughs> Stay the hell away from me. That was close. Come on, Chris. Okay, at least he's not poisoned anymore. He's still in danger, but he's not poisoned. Well, good thing is I'm here, so it's just gonna be... He's gonna be just fine. And I guess I should start using my pistol since I did find an ammo for it. Did I find it? Oh, oh yeah, it's up here. right there. Okay, so I defeated that snake. I got another mask. Another death mask, sorry. And let's see what he calls it. A death mask without a nose. Mask without nose. Wait a minute. Did I get that other mask? I'm seeing it here. The stairs are there. Oh yeah. I remember I killed all those green herbs. So I did it.
if I want to put that mask where it belongs, I'll need to go back here. Yeah, that zombie doesn't die. <laughs> well, he does have all the appearance of one. Okay. So you're not wrong. It is a walk. It's a zombie chicken. You know, I'm terrified of its. <laughs> Death mass. I think I need one more. And I'm just finding out that this headset that I have, that I bought not so long ago, I think it was from Black Friday. Apparently, uh, the audio on one of the on one side is not so great. Like the wiring for some reason is funky, so I'm like, oh, that's great. Yeah. That's, yep, really bad. guessing because the one con on about this headset is that it's wired and it did cross my mind thinking well because it's wired if my brothers are not being careful and possibly tuggled at it like they pulled at it without me knowing it like then yeah that's just crossed my mind and I was like, well, if I ask them or if I don't, there's still going tonight. So, yep, that's note to self. Unless I live by myself, do not buy wired headsets. But, um, the good thing is I bought it on sale. Imagine if I didn't. That would really suck. Trying to figure out what else do I need to do, what items I need to gather. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm trying to think what other place I need to explore. Because I still don't have that other item to get to that top, uh, like elbow shaped path, I still don't have what I need to get through there. So, wait a minute. Nothing else. Oh, as a matter of fact, there is, I think, a place I still haven't gone. They just sent me. It's in the second floor, it's like in the corner. It's a corner door. I guess that's the fun thing about this game. It's always like memory based at some point. Like you have to remember which places you've gone. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I very much agree with you. Dead Stars member has completely been torn to shreds. Forrest has given up the ghost. It looks like he's been dead for a while. Now he's dead. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, I, c I couldn't. I wonder why. Like, I can hear you f just fine. Maybe it's the game? Let me, let me see if I can switch to a different part of the map where it's not windy. Uh, let me just go back inside the mansion. Okay, you can go ahead. like a it wasn't very loud but I heard like a subtle snore <laughs> hmm. he's yeah he's clearly he's out from that little bit that I heard <laughs> yeah Yeah. <laughs> I understand. Okay, so where the hell do I need that thing for? I'm trying to go over here. Cause I can't go th I can't go over there. Let's try and figure it out. My memory is being challenged. Hey there, crows, I solved a puzzle. Please don't attack me. I don't have peanuts for you. Maybe that's why they keep attacking me. They want me to recite Nevermore. <laughs> okay, let's see. And apparently, I also saw on the map that they didn't collect all the items inside this storage unit. So that's what did I miss? Special instructions for the disposal of their bodies. We have new info. 
information regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact, they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to seize their resurrection. Incineration or destruction of the head. Further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. Oil. First floor of the mansion. You'll need something to light it with, which you need to find by yourself. Okay. Floor. Those two doors marked on red, I cannot go through them. I need the helmet key. Uh, that one, I can Oh! Really? I haven't done that puzzle yet? What the fuck? Okay, I need to go do that puzzle. Uh. Remember that zombie that attacked me and almost got me killed? There's a puzzle, there's a double, there's a double door there, and I'm supposed to go in and solve that puzzle so I can get something. And I haven't done it yet. Because it's still, uh, I guess that's the one thing you should know about maps. When the maps are highlighted with that kind of like grayish color like as you see where my icon is like it's gray that means any possible item there has been collected so there's nothing else for me to collect when they're shining red that means there's something I can pick up mm -hmm. so because this one's still in red that means and there's only one thing you can collect yeah, that means I haven't solved the puzzle. Or wait, I, it seems like I did solve the puzzle, but I didn't grab it. It's a mystery box. That's even sillier. Okay. I was just like, I don't need that, and I just left. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. I need to be pressing this or something. Okay. Uh, where's the other one? This one. Press it. Yes. Okay, I got the last mask. Death mask. I got all the death masks. Okay, so now I'm done with this area. Now I can go ahead and place the last death mask and see what I win. <laughs> Die already. <laughs> yeah, he's not coming back. That would be funny if you're in real life stuck in this situation and you phrase things like oh and then I get my prize dude we're we're in a really creepy mansion and that's how you phrase it I'm sorry looking at this in the positive way <laughs> damn it Rob don't quit being so negative <laughs> 
Bro, I'm just trying to make the best of it. <laughs> I'm not stuck in this mansion. I want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a really weird. <laughs> Just like a safety mechanism. That's why I should probably do that. I should be doing that work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, great, I'm facing against this weird looking puppy. <laughs> oh man. Oh no, let me grab it, you guys. Damn, I got lucky there. Thank god I still have more shotgun ammo. There we go. You almost got me. He almost got me. There's a switch. There we go, that's the object I need. Now I can show you this other part of the map that you're gonna enjoy. Cause I sure did. Uh, I have what I need. As a matter of fact, I can go through here. And... Oh man, I think the dogs are right there. Now that I remember. And I know how much you like dogs. <laughs> they have all your favorite animals here. Dogs, crows. The dog's name is called Cerberus. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really is. That's what they called it. <laughs> There's a dog here. There we go. Down, servers. Down. Bad dog. Okay, good boy. I'm like, stay down. Good. There we go. And I present to you a new area to explore. Ooh, this is where you get to meet Lisa. This is not fun. Well, at least Chris is fine in health. <laughs> Okay, got shotgun ammo, I found this flash and sound assault hand grenade, and what else? That's it. And now we're going over here. So you get to see this. Says it seems to be some kind of signpost. Each direction is what is it? Oh yeah, it's spooky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very much so. It says because I think there's like a graveyard here. Well, I think it's more of the graveyard because that other area wasn't technically was. What is it? Oh, yeah, that is true. <laughs> Which side they're supposed to be facing, but I'm not sure exactly how they look from here. Okay, so the bottom right is facing the right direction. 
The reason I know is because when you read them, it tells you exactly where they're supposed to be looking. A statue with red eyes. The inscription reads, The War Cry of Revenge. So, he wants to go to, I think it was the Valley of Revenge? That's where you want him to head. To turn its direction to. A statue with blue eyes. The inscription reads, The Last Grasp of Destruction. So the blue one needs to be facing left. I'm not sure if it's south, I think. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. If it's not south, then it's gonna definitely be north. Uh, yeah, it's definitely north then. Go. I want Annie to meet my friend Lisa. More spookies. Oh shit. Oh yeah, I forgot these crows. I know how much you love crows. These crows don't love me. <laughs> something carved into the indentation. Two vertical lines, a cross, and three horizontal lines. Could it be some kind of symbol? And this one. There's something written in this indentation. When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will shine in, in the heavens. So, this crest I found, I need to put it here. I got three more. Need to grab them and place them where they belong. How do I know where they go? I need to look at the back. I need to examine each crest and flip it. Yeah, it says there's a button. When you press it, press it, and they they come out. So this one's the moon. So this one. Okay. What does this one have? This one has a cross. that chases you. This, uh, this crest with the sun it reminds me of the Mario game. There's this Mario game in particular that the sun kind of chases you. It has like this creepy smile on it. I think that's, that's probably how you feel about the sun. <laughs> 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 yeah, I remember that, how that creeped me out when I was a kid. I was like, why is this trying to kill me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was insane. Okay, girls, please don't attack me. I'm just walking out of here, taking this magnum revolver with me. So I have a really powerful gun with me now. Did you hear that? That's Lisa. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, look at this statue. It reminded me of the Weeping Angels. A large statue stands silently in the darkness. I'm like, wow, Chris, now you're hor horribly poetic. It has a very dark but scary look to it. They captured her very well. You can see the pathway. I, I'm still waiting for that, and honestly, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be terrified. Sounds like it, yeah. No, as you can see, I'm in a really creepy looking area filled with spider webs everywhere and a little fireplace. A crude bed. <laughs> it looks like no one's used it in a long time. And clearly, this door has been knocked down. Demo. I think I should leave. As a matter of fact, I might even just put this away. And I'm gonna use the pistol. And that should be good, I think. Okay. Yeah, Chris. Didn't even have a gun on him. <laughs> Awesome, Chris. You're gonna beat the zombies to death. <laughs> As you saw, I found something. Examine. It's a crank. It says the end is shaped like a square. Square crank. Okay. But this is where it gets creepy. You'll see what I mean. See that? Oh no. Oh no. Lisa. That's your introduction to Lisa. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I make my exit quickly. I'm not sure that you saw she knocked me out. Yeah, um, the first time I still remember that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a printer for the rest of my life. It made me jump when she hit me. <laughs> yeah. 
I just remember when I was well, clearly younger, I was I was like, oh, I'm gonna catch up to her and I'm gonna attack her. Nope, she already had the the upper hand. And then after she smacked me, it was kind of like, what just happened? <laughs> And yeah, I did this very same thing I did right now. I just ran the hell out of there. <laughs> you'll get to... Yeah, you'll get to unfold more of her... of her story. I had to find uh, other files and... We'll very much read them. Okay. Now they have the square crank. Now we can go through this door. This is where we need it. And more Cerberus puppies. Very friendly. Can't chat with due to network error. Jeez. Let's see what's going on. Broadcast. Eddie, can you hear me? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw it too, that's why I was like, okay, something's happening. Oh man. I made that dog that doggo blow up. What is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, that's... I understand. I'm not sure exactly what's causing the lag and all. I'll have to ask her brother then. Switched the, uh, he switched the modem without telling me. Ah, oh, believe me, I have more reasons to punch him than not. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I, believe me, I'm 100% with you. Like I, that's the first thing that came to my mind. It's like. Like, oh, I switched it, because mine's faster, it's better. Like, that doesn't mean you get to switch it. I'm like... Oh. Oh, if he did, no. Well, he means... It, he would not hear the end of it, but... I guess he doesn't have an account? He told me, oh, you can open one. But I'm like, dude, now you're adding more steps. The modem that we had on worked just fine. If you wanted to have one and store it away, that's fine too, but you couldn't get out without telling me, that's not good. Believe me, it is. It's happened like, I would say like around two months ago. Yeah, every... Every little thing they do to make it harder for me. Okay, I'm gonna take us to this new spot. to explore. This is the residence. And there are 
plenty of blue orbs, because apparently there's a lot of poisonous monsters here. And just in case you didn't know, blue orbs, that's what they do. They, they cure you from poison. to keep in case you decide to play Resident Evil. Yeah, you did buy it, you did buy it. <laughs> There's more stuff here for me to pick up. Uh, ink ribbon, flashes. Gonna store the ink ribbon. some new enemies I'll encounter that I personally dislike. As a matter of fact, I can already introduce you to the other two. And I know what you're thinking. Two? Yeah, two. Two in one room. The cool part is, I realized when I came back into this particular area, which the monsters that I'm talking about are, are behind these two double doors, um, when you get in, they actually give you a fixed camera angle as an introduction. So the second time you go into that same room, it doesn't show up, it doesn't give you that camera angle again. Yes, it is. Well, here you go. Ah! Oh, gross. Gross, gross, gross. That's really bad. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful, aren't they? Don't okay. <laughs> <laughs> sounds to how they're moving. The good thing is the second one up there doesn't really move from that area so it doesn't really attack me or anything. Uh, yes I'll take the red book and there's some first aid here but I can't grab it. Yeah, it's a really gross camera angle when I saw it. <laughs> it's coming from the top. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. through several times because I did end up dying once and I made a lot of progress and didn't save it. So I have a 
pretty well memorized. <laughs> Trial and error. <laughs> yeah, when I died, I was like, no! <laughs> and then I had to stop playing for like a day. <laughs> scattered about. They all seem to contain articles about stars. Hmm. I know who likes those articles. Stars. <laughs> Take it. Yes. Now I have a map of the residence. And just to give you a hint in case you decide to play this game, it's going to give you the option to look through this hole and don't do it don't do it just giving you a helpful tip remember that disgusting hornet there's more of them on the other side. Mm -hmm. So if you put if you put yes, hornets are coming out of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says plant 42 report. I'm I'm reading a report that I found. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at it, its current state, it's difficult to imagine the, its original appearance. Nowhere on earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into a, the basement immediately after the accident. The scientists went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the plant's 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacles like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacles like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suck suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it as if it was trying to protect itself, why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May 21st, 1998. Henry Sarden. Yay, plant enemies. Everything's trying to kill me. It's like we're in Australia. <laughs> we're not in the US. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, I should have taken the hint. Yeah, this is nowhere in the US. Oh crap. <laughs> That was close. As you can see, these zombies clearly are not afraid of doorknobs. Someone just walked in, I'm like, dude, I'm using the I'm using the toilet, what the fuck? And I had to blow his head off. <laughs> <laughs> it says old newspapers and magazines lie on top of the bed. Someone appears to have vomited blood on some of the newspapers. This is a strange place of residence. Who would stay here? I mean, if it was safe, we would, but... But if it's including large spiders and uh, tentacles of a Plant 42, like, no thanks. Like, listen... <laughs> Hey, listen guys, uh, we can't get any air conditioning because the vents are filled with grass and vines that are trying to kill me. <laughs> no thanks. Like, we can have madness over, but yeah, we don't want any of those. President didn't like it here either. You'll see what I mean. Oh, suicide note. June 22nd, 1998. Had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive, but Roberts. Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Possibly 30 seconds now. Jesus. Oh. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nuthouse. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. Well, that sucks. 
and they had to add the noise it makes as it's hanging. That's good detail, guys. That shows so it hasn't been used. Gonna check the bathroom. Zombie there. Please don't get up. There's something inside the bathtub. And I can't carry it, damn it. Okay. <laughs> the good thing is this the storage room is like on the other side. We're very close to each other. Otherwise. No. This game hates me. zombies that we're gonna love. You're like, really? Giant spiders? Uh, murderous dogs? What else can I not love out of this game? <laughs> that put the the Asian hornet to shame. Oh shit. Yep. I don't need to waste my bullet on you. Don't leave me. I think my girlfriend gets to do that. <laughs> Mature audience. that ladder I exposed, pushing those shelves, now I need to go over there. Pushing these heavy crates that are rumored to have weighed at least 200 pounds. <laughs> Who needs prosper when you can be surviving? <laughs> I may have just made up that last fact. <laughs> They didn't weigh 200 pounds, they weighed a ton. <laughs> okay, as you can see, this place is completely soaked in water. And 
you're about to meet some really not so friendly monsters. But because I know it's played, I'll hold on until you see them. <laughs> yep, they they did not hold up on what they can possibly turn into zombies. They were like, no, let's not stop with large spiders. Okay, as you can see, I'm definitely here and I have to fulfill a task, and it's going to go from 0 to 100. And it says, an error message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong while the water is being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it. Yes. Emergency! Emergency! Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. There's a control lever for the pressure shelter. But it won't budge until the safety is released. Okay. The pressure shelter is locked. Release the safety? Yes. Safety mechanism for the pressure shelter has been released. There is control lever for the pressure shelter. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Oil pressure lost. Shelter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure, then release the safety. Switch control the oil pressure valves. Press one, two, press two. Reaching fifty percent of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Those sharks were not happy. They were like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Uh, 
we did go inside the uh I did go into a new warehouse and the birds were still up there chirping and moving around. So I'm not sure if they found a source of water or something or not water, food. Cause they the weird part is we didn't have every reason to open the new warehouse. So by the time they did I wasn't there. So by the time I went in, it was like the afternoon, they were still in there. Meaning whoever, again, they opened them in the morning. And most likely it was open like around, but when, when, when I went over, it was like around three. So, they were closed by that time because we were done and the birds were in there so meaning my point being whoever opened them in the morning which was most likely Sire or Daniel because they were collecting kegs that's where we get them from the birds for some reason are still choosing to stay there I would think the moment you would open them and they would want to leave they would just take off so I'm a little strange as to why they're sticking around or where they're finding sources to either eat or drink water it's that's most likely what have happened like in other words I know they they want to put in practice us closing the uh, the doors but I, I know Daniel's like more on the lazy side so he wouldn't but yeah like because even the even Daniel said like I don't know like they might have eaten from the grains or something because I'm I'm there puzzled they were moving they were just moving just like how I, I found them, they were just from, they were just moving around, flying around, and just chirping. And I was like, okay. But, um, I would, at least tomorrow, I'm not sure if we will access the, uh, warehouse because we're going to be doing mostly maintenance on the CFT. Oh, as a matter of fact, we are because we're still do we're still focusing on using the the Lambert. Like we we can't do canning, but we'll be able to use Lambert. Just so you know. I understand. Well, if you have any particular plan that might help them convince to get out, like, um, I would be okay with that.
Windows? No, there's no windows. decisions in stressful situations. I wonder if I wonder if there's like a particular like trap I can find like on Amazon for birds. And not a trap like as in like a killing trap, but more like a cage. And like if I have food or water in there there'll probably be like Cool, like if I make it can simplify it like that, sure. It would be luring to them. That's why crows don't find themselves in the same problems like little birds or pigeons. I suppose I just have a lingering question. If the birds do find themselves like feeling nice and healthy, um, for this first, for the same reason why they went in, would it be possible for them to start nesting there? Okay. 
small perspective of how it looks. I know I took a small video of the birds. size warehouse. enjoyed it and and microphone please go away <laughs> 